Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. I want to give you some teaching tips, how to be an effective teacher. Now, in 1 Timothy 3, 2, it says of bishops, you have to be apt to teach, an aptitude to teach. So teaching is the process of sharing information in ways other people can learn. Notice teaching is not just sharing, but it's sharing and other people receiving. There's a law of the teacher that says if the learner has not learned, the teacher has not taught. So there has to be modes and ways of communicating to people. So these are just some teaching tips. Now let's look at the life of Jesus Christ, some of his teaching tips. He used everyday object lessons. So object lessons are a great teaching tool. I remember watching Brother Arlo Molenpaul one time do a 45 minute lesson on teaching with object lessons. It was powerful because he had object lessons everywhere. I know as a young man, you know, in my youth minister, children ministers day, I had the chemistry set from Berg Publishing that dump this in, dump that in, and you're, this means that, this means that, and it's red blood, and it's white snow, and it's all this, and just love teaching. And there's entire uh, books out on teaching from object lessons. Now today we would do more probably, even though there's some with that, uh, with PowerPoint and using the power of media to really illustrate a message. Now there are some dangers with teaching with PowerPoint. We've run across those at Indiana Bible College that if you've got something on the PowerPoint behind you, that so often the student's just trying to fill in a blank and not listening. So sometimes those things that we remember 10 to 15 percent of what we hear, but 60 to 65 percent of what we hear and see, 90 percent of what we hear, see, and do, on and on and so forth, that may not work so much with PowerPoint. So PowerPoint should be used as an auxiliary but the word should still be impactful. God speaks words, but then all of creation is like an object lesson as well. So object lessons, getting students involved, especially in younger ages, standing. You know, Dr. Bruce Wilkinson, even amongst adults, when he would teach the Through the Bible seminar, he had people doing and acting, and it, it really helped. You know, Abraham had eyes of faith. Abraham, Isaac, you know, doing things with, you know, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, you know, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, with your finger, doing all kinds of, uh, of things, uh, marching into the promised land. And so that is a huge teaching tool as well. Now, one of the forgotten teaching tools is found twice in the New Testament when it says, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. One reason the early church exploded is they had hymns, that you find hymns throughout history. Luther used music to a tremendous degree. Even false guys like Arrhaeus did in the early fourth century. And then there were hymns that were, see today we only use music for worship and praise. In the Bible, music was used for teaching. The largest book, Psalms, many of them set to music. Deuteronomy 32, 33, 34, it says, I'm going to teach you the words of this song. My doctrine shall drop down like dew. G.T. Haywood, writer of 158 songs, that was by 1916. What was he doing? I see a crimson stream of blood. It flows from Calvary. Its ways which reach the throne of God are sweeping over me. That's teaching. That's not just worship. That's teaching. It's all in Him. It's all in Him. The fullness of the Godhead. It's all in Him. It's all in Him. It's all in Him. The mighty God is Jesus, and it's all in Him. You know, Emmanuel, God with us. Jehovah, Lord of hosts. The omnipresent spirit that fills the universe. See, I've, we've just said a lot of theology right there. It's not just... So, music is such an invaluable teaching tool as well. Now, probably the biggest tip I can give you in teaching is live what you teach. 
people learn by observation more than they do by anything. You know, children learn to talk, not because they're taught to talk, they learn it by observation. And so just be what you teach, be what you are. And so object lessons, PowerPoint, music, uh, being the teaching, letting the teaching affect you. Also notice, don't just try to do time. When the smartest man who ever lived before Jesus Christ, when he went to teach, he wrote songs, and he also did proverbs, short, pithy, memorable sayings. And that's one of the things about Facebook that are so cool is people are constantly putting these short sayings. I've noticed when I walk into a lot of millennials' houses and some other people's houses too, they say, we love here, we play here, we laugh here, we pray, you know, we love God here, we tell truth here and all this. What that's doing, it's very small, short things that are memorable. So the power of story is incredible in teaching, the power of illustration in telling about events and weaving it into the subject you're trying to teach. Teaching should not be boring, it should be interesting. People should love when you teach. I've seen it in action. I've seen young people um, after three hours of teaching, young people that have a seven second shorter than a goldfish attention span that when you quit, they're like, give us more. But you gotta do it right. You can't get up there and just be some boring dispenser of, of information. You've got to make the information pertinent. As that old saying goes, be learner oriented which is learner, the acrostic, which acrostics are another great way to teach, learner-oriented, expectation-oriented, know that they can receive it, application-oriented, why it's for them, uh, retention-oriented, ways they can remember it, which repetition is the mother of learning, need-oriented, end-time-oriented, and revival-oriented, the seven laws of the learner. Yep, I learned that in 1987. It worked. 30 years ago, I still remember it. So, God bless you. Be apt to teach. We need to be able to teach others. Faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Let's see this thing go all around the world. The Jews are masters of teaching. Let's teach. It, but so are Muslims and Hindus. They perpetuate what they believe. Let's perpetuate truth in the earth. God bless you.